Hello and good tidings. Xbox Ahoy here with episode 9 of my Modern Warfare 2 Weapons Guides. This time, we are looking at the second available assault rifle, the FAMAS. The FAMAS is a burst fire weapon, meaning it will fire three rounds for every pull of the trigger. It is the current service rifle for the French military, and has been in service since 1978. It fires the NATO standard 5.56x45mm cartridge. The iron sights are built into the top carry handle, and are a rear aperture and front shrouded post type. The FAMAS is a hard-hitting and accurate member of the assault rifle category. It is capable of placing the three rounds in each burst in a very small area, and with stopping power can kill in one burst at any range, assuming all shots hit. If you can aim accurately and quickly with the FAMAS, and get the three rounds on target, the enemy will simply not have time to react. Unfortunately, and the same is true for all of the burst weapons, if you fail to kill with the first burst, you will be subject to a delay before you can fire again, giving the enemy time to return fire or to seek cover. The first attachment unlocked for the FAMAS is the grenade launcher, which I have no doubt you're already familiar with. Good for clearing out rooms, taking out enemies around corners, and generally causing havoc. It's there if you want to use it, as with all of the other assault rifles. 20 kills with a grenade launcher nets you the underslung shotgun, a pump action with a short 4 round tube magazine. It has a very good range, you'll be able to hit the enemy from some distance away, but the damage inflicted is it's terrible. One shot kills are a rarity, and even at ideal shotgun range you'll need two or three hits to kill. With the slow action cycling this is impossible. Next up is the red dot sight, and it suits the FAMAS rather well. The iron sights aren't particularly bad, but I found the optional optics to make a noticeable improvement in my target acquisition and aim speed. Important to ensure the effectiveness of the FAMAS. The holographic sight is unlocked after 60 kills with the red dot, and is essentially functionally equivalent. Given a free choice, I'd choose the red dot over the holographic, as the smaller reticule is more effective to use at range. 75 kills nets you the silencer attachment. I'd recommend a sight over the silencer, especially as the decreased range of the silencer will result in fewer one burst kills at range. As burst weapons only have the advantage with one burst kills, if you want to stay silent, I'd recommend you use another weapon, such as one of the fully automatic assault rifles. The heartbeat sensor is unlocked by using the silencer, but given the prevalence of ninja, and the fact that the heartbeat sensors can be a distraction at times, I'd recommend against using it. The FAMAS might be the best assault rifle to use with the ACOG scope. While recoil affects sustained accuracy of the fully automatic weapons, with the burst fire weapons, you can land three hits in near enough the same spot, even at longer ranges. The FAMAS is very accurate, and the ACOG turns it into an effective counter-sniper weapon. If you can keep engagements at middle to long ranges with the ACOG, you will do very well. The thermal scope is similar, but is somewhat slower and harder to acquire close range targets with. The ACOG is much better at middle ranges, but the thermal scope does provide visual assistance for concealed enemies. I'd recommend the ACOG over the thermal, but it comes down to your preference and style of play. FMJ is the final attachment unlocked through the Marksman Challenges, and is a useful attachment for the burst fire weapons as it can make the difference for a one burst kill. If you're prepared to give up your blue perk slot for bling, FMJ can be very effective paired with the red dot or holographic sight. I normally did this when completing the FMJ challenge, but it's not a bad combination in its own right. Completing the FMJ challenge gives you extended mags, 45 rounds instead of 30. But it's not really worth doing unless you're after the mastery challenge. The burst fire mode means you will seldom find yourself emptying your magazine, and the reload in the FAMAS is painless enough. When using the FAMAS, taking a close range secondary weapon is a good idea. Any of the handguns, machine pistols or shotguns would make a fine pairing, and will fill the continuum of ranges at which you can compete. At long ranges, the FAMAS shines in its accuracy, and your only real concern should be snipers. But if you can get a clean burst on target, even at long range, you should be able to eliminate them. Burst weapons rely on shot accuracy, so the optics are the best attachment choice. 
It's also important to ensure that the first burst kills as often as possible, so anything that maximizes lethality is a must. Stopping power is almost essential for the FAMAS, then. Without it, you'll find too many enemies need two bursts to go down, and in the gap between, you might find yourself taking fire. Scavenger is less useful than it is with the other assault rifles, as the burst fire modes force you to be more conservative with ammunition. Sleight of Hand Pro is a great choice for faster aiming and reloading, although aim and reload speed are fine without. If you want two attachments on the FAMAS, bling is a workable option. Third perk is down to preference. Steady aim can make the FAMAS slightly more effective at close range, but the footstep softening effects of Ninja are hard to go without. The FAMAS is an able assault rifle suited to an aggressive, spearhead assault type of play. There are few weapons that kill as quickly and efficiently as the burst fire weapons. The FAMAS is no exception. It suffers somewhat in close quarters, as the delay after your burst will leave you vulnerable, so a fast-moving opponent at close range will usually have the upper hand. Nevertheless, it's a capable and competitive weapon, and in the right hands, easily capable of besting others in firefights and ultimately winning matches. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next time when I'll be taking a look at the second machine pistol, the Glock 18.